what is going on guys in this video i'm going to walk you through it how to tune your bmw f or g series with mhd stage one tune what you're going to need is a device ios or android doesn't matter a wireless obd2 adapter it doesn't have to be from mhg i just like this one or you can even use one of these um, K plus D can cables. However, I do recommend the Wi-Fi wireless adapter because it is a lot faster than the cable. Uh, it, is, it takes about a minute to tune with this one compared to with the cable. Cable takes like anywhere of 10 to 20 minutes. Um, yeah so which you would end up needing a battery charger to run while it's tuning your car and whatnot i don't know uh this one well worth it guys i'll put a link in the description if you want to grab yourself one uh all right without further ado let's get started all right so i got my mhg wireless adapter plugged in accessory on now make sure all your devices are in airplane mode to avoid any kind of interference during the tune i already put mine in airplane mode uh, next thing what we want to do we want to wi-fi into the adapter so mine is called mhd 753b and it already had a password saved but the password is at the back of the adapter in case you need it so we're connected to it now let's go to our flasher and we're gonna flash an mhd map now what's cool about mhd now it automatically detects which type of engine you have uh, mine is pwg so it already knows that uh, which is pneumatic wastegate um okay let's get started so we're running octane we're on eight speed auto and already is selected uh we're gonna do stage one for stock unmodified cars obviously i'll run 91 octane because that's as high as as it gets here in colorado i know it sucks all right Click that little arrow, it's gonna connect to the adapter. Oh, it won't connect to it. Huh. Why not? Oh, it dropped it. All right, let's try this again. Okay. All right, we're on it now. Okay, so we're gonna choose a couple of options here. All right, so we're gonna leave this crap as is. Um, we're gonna make sure this is on stock downpipes. Remove top speed limiter, sure. Um, I'm not worried about any of these, really. I like the way it is um, right off the bat. Min RPM 1200 sounds good to me. Max RPM uh, 5000, sure. Um, the only thing is, um, I don't like a super obnoxious um, burbles. So we're gonna bring this back down to 0.5 of a second duration and base. And we're gonna put this down to a one second in sport. And then aggressiveness um let's do medium and then yeah everything else is fine i like that maybe actually i'm gonna bump this down to 1000. i like when it burbles at low rpm and the only thing is we're gonna mm, Hit. I don't have a flap, but if you do, actually, let's select it just in case. Uh, start up roar. Yes, for sure. <laughs> Everything else is OEM. 
and stock coolant target. That's it, I'm happy with the way it is here. Click back, long right. All right, and another thing before I hit right, guys, make sure all your uh, AC and radio, everything is off. Um, all of that stuff should be off during the right. All right, let's, uh, let's give it a try. It's gonna freak out a little bit. I'm gonna show you. Things are gonna freak out a little bit, but don't worry about it. That's how it should be. It is flashing. Things are gonna go weird. But it's gonna be fine. With the wireless adapter, it's so fast, guys. I'm not too worried about the cable is what takes forever. All right, five seconds left. Let's see. Restarting. Boom. It's freaking, which is okay. It's clearing codes. Success. Wait 30 seconds, guys, which we will. Boom. We are at 400 horsepower now and 480 torque. Hell yeah.